Watching Dr. Hale get started with suturing our intestine model that we had did remarkably well. Once he had a notion of how to load that needle into the, um, into the appropriate device, he was putting those sutures in very precisely, just as we had discussed it. And I, I think they, of course, had their first season, and maybe that's where some of this came from, but I was surprised that it, it went as well as it did. Just a teeny bit. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. See, this is not hard. Finding the... <laughs> no, I mean, in, a, in, a, in an hour of doing this, you could close someone's bowel. And I, I honestly, there's, there's any, any takers. There's, yeah. I'm, I'm serious though. This the is, three of us would be kicked out of med school in five minutes. We would be. It's hilarious. You think we could get into med school? First of all, you know, all. I think one thing to consider in military surgery is that necessity is the mother of invention. So they had all kinds of problems that they had to deal with, and. The solution to many of those problems was probably common sense. They just didn't have all the pieces to carry it out. For example, they look at someone who had an injury and with a bullet wound, uh, and it shattered the bone. And they would think, well, gee, we'd hate to do a whole amputation, but can we actually take out a piece of bone or fix the bone and put the wound back together? So they developed instruments to do this, bone resection. And they did do it. It wasn't always successful. It didn't always heal well because the bone, once it becomes infected, doesn't heal well. But had they had an appropriate antibiotic, these techniques would have been probably just as reasonable as they are today. If you were bleeding someone on the arm, this would fit very nicely. And blood would drain off into it. Or was it used for shaving? And so that's always the, that's the argument. Which one was it? And again, is there a right or wrong to that? No. Could it have been purposed for both? Probably. And I think that's the thing we have to recognize is you know, there's what appears to be these liberties taken, but in actuality, you did what you had to do to get through the day and what you had at hand. You didn't always have everything at your fingertips. This is what a Civil War surgeon would have carried. This is a typical pocket case. So these are all folding knives and tenaculums. And now, so you've got You've got the ligature passer, and then you have a tenaculum, which is just a needle that's bent. So yeah, I think one of the great things about Mercy Street is the attempt to make this as accurate as we can possibly be. Will you be using Raybard's? Raybard's. Mm -hmm. Will you be using Raybard's technique or Lambert's? The writers tended oh, to want to make what they Jed, wrote yeah. look like this was everyday occurrences, and we were successful. Maybe not always so. Um, so I think that the, the real aim is to get it as spot on as we can, and I think they're doing a good job of it.